Bimetal fail safes are intended to protect your thermal chamber from an over temperature condition. Bimetal fail safes are factory set at 125 degrees Celsius. Should you ever need to run your chamber to a temperature above 125 degrees Celsius, you will need to turn your bimetal fail safe fully clockwise. At this point, we're going to need to enter in a set point temperature to be able to set the bimetal fail safe. A simple guideline is to take your highest set point temperature that you're going to use in your testing and add 15 degrees to that point. For example, if I was going to use 150 degrees as my set point, I would want to set my bimetal fail safe to 165 degrees. After you've set your controller to 165 degrees, let the chamber run up to temperature and sit at temperature for roughly 15 minutes. So now, my chamber has been sitting at 165 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. This allows the bimetal switch to become thoroughly soaked to temperature. Next, I will take the bimetal switch and turn it slowly counterclockwise. I'm waiting to hear a distinctive click in the service cavity. Now, I know I have the bimetal switch set for roughly 165 degrees. Next, I will want to take the bimetal switch and turn it just slightly clockwise, maybe one to two degrees. Now I have my bimetal fail safe correctly set.